Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Uh, just like before, I'm not going to do the normal duel for this yet. I'll do that last. And let's go ahead and do a duel in love. I don't even know the names of these characters. Let's dive right in. Okay, yeah, main character's name is Jaden. Dr. Crowler is that guy we dueled just earlier. And then Alexis Rhodes is the Obelisk Blue's top student. Uh, there's Cypher Red, Obelisk Blue, and of course Raw Yellow. Named after the god cards. I believe Obelisk Blue is top tier? I don't remember. Anyway, like I said, I don't really know any of the story at this point. So we're just gonna mess around with the duels. Uh, Jaden uses a lot of hero type cards. Uh, so you got Elemental Hero, Spark Man. Elemental hero, hero Clay Man, Elemental Hero, Burst of, uh, Burst of Nat Tricks. Uh, and Alexis uses like Dancers, I think. But anyway, let's go ahead and call Reinforcement of the Army. All right, we'll get the avian. Actually, no, I want to get a level four. So we'll get a second uh, spark man. Okay, hero signal. Uh, when a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, uh, summon one level, well, uh, summon a level four or lower he elemental hero monster from your hand or deck. So that's a good strong card. And then here we have uh, a bunch of fusions. So we got Thunder Giant, Flame Wingmen. Yeah, those are the combos. They both have the same attack power, but they each have their own special effects. Okay, so we'll get Clay Man. Alright, she blows up my trap. Yeah, so, at Atoli, or Atoll uh, Cyber. If this card attacks your opponent directly, it gets an additional 500 attack. So it specializes in direct attacks. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Spark Man. Polymerization. Doesn't seem to have the pieces yet. Target one monster on the field, return that target to the hand. Magical Golem. Once per turn, you can select one face-up monster you control. Its attack is halved until end of turn, and it can attack your opponent's uh, life points directly. During the turn you activate this effect, only the selected monster can attack. Eat. All right. Okay, so she's gonna add a card to her hand. Blade Skater. Okay, I have Elemental Hero Avian. I put uh, Burst of Natrix, or Burst of Natrix into a uh, face down position. I'm just gonna attack the other face down monster to see what it is. As the blade skater she uh, drew. Okay. So at this point, I'm just waiting for a, a, a uh, some sort of fusion card. Okay. 
So attacks my life points directly. She's at half attack power, but she's going to gain 500 attack. So it does 1100. So it's not too bad. Kindo Spirit. Monster on, uh, on your side of the field cannot be destroyed in battle if the monster's attacks are equal. So yeah, even though it's a new series, uh, even though we've gone through like a billion duels already, uh, once you start a new series, it looks like it just starts kind of from the, the basics again, which is kind of nice. A lot better than some of the challenge decks where you see the player go through like 30 billion cards and kill you in one turn. just a race to get her a uh, get out a stronger card which Alexis unfortunately doesn't have elemental hero heat this card gains 200 attack for each elemental hero monster you control that's great except for the fact that I don't have any op I don't have an open slot now or do I I can actually win the the fight right now this way, but we'll do it. Uh... You know what? We'll do it this way. Yeah, we'll do it this way. So return that to my hand, and I'll play uh, Elemental Hero Heat. Stack power is now twenty six hundred. I could have won the duel just by popping that card back into his hand, or her hand, but of course scapegoat is a thing too, so. I actually made the good call there, because I would have, yes, destroyed all the sheep tokens, but then he, she would have just resummoned her wall, and uh, that would have been a problem. So, good stuff. I actually used my trap card. I was saving the trap card for when she did any fusions or tributes, and just pop it back into her hand, but she never got that far. Another scapegoat. It's definitely buying her some time. seems to just flip positions and uh, temporarily. So essentially it just ensures that the, if he if it does kill a monster it will do the damage to the opponent instead of yourself. Alright, finally pierced. Alright, that should be game. 
but that was her face down card the entire time. I was a mystical space typhoon. I mean, good on her for having more than one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, whatever. Okay. Alright. We'll play as her now, though. It's gonna probably be a lot harder. As you can see, our her monsters aren't very strong is the biggest issue. Cyber with Cyp uh, with Blade Skater. Once per turn, you can discard one card, then target one face-up uh, attack mo position monster your opponent controls. To destroy that target. Neat. It's also a decent defense monster. So let's get that out. conversation already. While this is in is on the field, either play can fusion summon a fusion monster without using polymerization, but the fusion monsters are banished instead of being sent to the graveyard. Okay, so if this destroys a monster, the monster's attack um, is inflicted on the user. I'm gonna go ahead and do scapegoat now. Okay, that actually worked. I'm a little surprised that worked. <laughs> is a start. I hold on to the scapegoat for now because I might use it. I might discard it. Okay. Okay, you got rid of the up oh, sky crypt scraper instead, huh? When an elemental hero monster attacks, if its attack is lower than the attack of the, uh, the than the attack of the attack target, the attacking monster gets a thousand during damage calculation only. So that's why it just destroyed Edelie. So I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't want that at all. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and activate this effect. I'm gonna get rid of scapegoat and destroy that. Summon. Alright, we're both down to no cards. 
which is not a good situation for uh, Alexis here. Guess down card, huh? Alright, so I have a fusion gate. I'm not gonna do anything with it right now. Okay, I'm kind of glad that's just the card. I'll just set it. Cyber Prima, when this card is tribute summon, destroy all face-up spell cards on the field. so it's not a big deal. Should be game. Got Blader Skater finally. But I don't have the other monster. Alright. Got all that. And then... Yeah, they have things about shadow duels and all that nonsense. Let's go ahead and do this duel real quick. Fusions. Uh, we got Elemental Hero, Hero Blade Edge. If this card attacks a defense monster, inflict piercing damage. Okay. We have also Monster Reincarnation, which is you discard a card and bring a monster card from the graveyard to your hand. Um, yeah, I think around this time they actually banned uh, Monster Reborn because it's rather powerful. So Pandemonium is uh, makes it so you don't have to pay uh, the life cost to maintain Arc Fiends. And each time a player's Arc Fiend monster is destroyed instead of the guard, graveyard, except uh, by battle, that player uh, can add a Arc Fiend card uh, that's equal, uh, a level lower, a l yeah, a lower level than the destroyed card. So if I use things like you know Fissure and stuff, it would actually just put more cards in his hand. During your standby phase, gain life points equal to half of your total life points you paid during your last turn. So, doesn't have to pay, and life absorbing machine. I don't know if those negate each other or if it's a fancy little combo. Uh, once per turn, during your opponent's standby phase, draw five cards until you have four in your hand. If you do, during your next standby phase after that, just randomly describe the same number of cards you drew, or your entire hands if you don't have enough cards. That is frightening. It's like a weird cycling card. Alright, I don't know what that face down card is. I'm gonna bring out another clay man. Oh, 
Oh no, Arc Paint. Yeah, I don't like this card at all. And yeah, even if I had tried to attack, it wouldn't. I couldn't have beaten that defense. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede. I don't like that using that card at all. Skyscraper, yeah. I know about Skyscraper. Do, 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 do. Speaking of Skyscraper. Uh, fiend type monsters, you gain 500 attack, you can target one arc fiend monster you control, banish one other fiend, and if you do, special summon from your hand, uh, Deckard, one arc fiend monster that's same level, blah blah blah. Uh, once per turn you can pay 500 life points, then declare one card name, excavate the top card of your, of your deck, and if it is declared card, add it to your hand, otherwise send it to the graveyard. This is sent to uh, be destroyed by battle. You can add one Arc Fiend card from your deck to your hand, except Arc Fiend Harris. You only use the effect once per turn. Okay. Well, I'm terrified. So you can normal summon it without tributing, but its attack and defense become halved. If you summon this way, it's destroyed at the end of turn. You cannot special summon any monsters except fiend type monsters. Once per turn, you can banish an arc fiend card from your hand or graveyard to destroy one card. I'm glad I got, you know, fusion gate and two polymerizations in my hand, because that's exactly what I need right now. Do this. Uh, get me another Sparkman, please. Just barely enough. That would have been ugly. All right, good stuff. I'm not going to go through. Arc Fiend cards actually are pretty complicated. <laughs> they have a lot of effects and restrictions and cost. Life Resorting Machine. Uh, I should have flicked. Uh, I think it's Clayman. I think Clayman's what I want. Yes, it is. So we can do Elemental. Fusion. Elemental Hero Thunder Giant. Once you turn, you can discard one card to target one face-up monster. Okay, so there are no face-up monsters, so there's nothing to target. Thank you. 
Send any number of other spell. Okay, that's just emergency provisions. I don't really need it, so we'll just set it for now. Signature card is a fusion. Equip only to Elemental Hero Sparkman. Uh, during your main phase, you can target one face up monster, change the battle position of that, that target. After you use this effect three times, destroy this card. Well, I don't have Sparkman anymore, so it's not useful to me. Oh, I don't actually have any field cards left on my deck, so I can't use terraforming. It should, uh, it should still let me use it, but okay, whatever. So I can at least confirm I have nothing left in the deck. Need a monster. Not what I was looking for. All right. One monster. I just need a monster I can summon. That is not exactly what I was looking for, but that will do. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, monster reincarnation. With, uh, discard terraforming. Get me Sparkman. Summon Sparkman. Only works on face up monsters, so. But I have it at least. Alright, got it. And we'll see if we can knock out the opposite real quick. Since I don't really have any story to talk about, I can get through the duels a little bit faster. Which I, I think this duel is a little luck based. I mean, every duel is luck based, but this one more so. Pay 100 life points, then target one arc monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. It cannot be tributed. Uh, destroy it during the end uh, phase of this turn. Okay. Uh, this cannot be normal summoned or flip summon unless you have an arc fiend monster card on your side of the field. Which I don't. Alright, terraforming. All fiend type monsters you control get 500 attack. You can tar target one arc fiend monster you control, banish one other fiend monster you control, blah blah blah, it doesn't help me.
Actually, it does. Well, that is every card in my hand. Let's have fun. dead. I already lost half. I'm gonna be... Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. Actually... Uh, let's see if I can make this work. That kind of worked. <laughs> so he flipped, he, he mirror gated, um, and since I didn't have control of the fiend type monster, um, it didn't have that 500 attack anymore. But I can still attack, so we'll just do this. Take out your other monster while we're at it. Alright, well, that was interesting. I was not expecting something like that. this face down. And we'll go ahead and activate Arcfiend Roar again. Alright, so uh, I at least have a monster out. He apparently doesn't. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Fusion Gate. I don't want to risk anything at this point. No, actually I don't. I see. So I could have uh, special summoned Terra King Arcane. 
Um, if I hadn't have summoned this, I could have discarded it from my hand when the Arc Fiend died and special summoned it. So that was my bad. Um, I can attack, but I'm not going to really get very far with it. Alright, this is going to be a problem. Now I can summon this normally. I'm going to pick this Cherokee King Arc Fiend. There's a Wing Creepo. That was interesting. The effects of an effect monster that is destroyed by a uh, card destroyed as a result of battle are negated. So that Wink of Karibo should have in, should have ended um, prevented all further battle damage. But since I killed it with Arc Fiend, uh, Terra King Arc Fiend, it negated it. So I can keep attacking. Someone that face up. All right, so I'm about to accidentally kill myself here. But if I stay alive long enough, it should be okay. Uh, I will take Pandemonium just in case. Everything else is fine. Yeah, I don't know why you went face up, as I went. All right. Not too shabby. All right. Well, when we can't come back, we'll deal with uh, more annoyances. Anyway, I'm the depressed Eeyore, and this was Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. See you guys later.